And apparently we've had several oh. people ask about ultrasound scanning over fetuses, because clearly there must be a difference between There that. is a difference. The, the ultrasound energy is the same, and again, it's a popular question. The, the ultrasound energy is the same. When I'm doing therapy ultrasound, I'm sending the energy in at relatively, compared with ultrasound scanning, it's a higher dose, and I want the energy to go in and stay in to have a therapy effect. In an ultrasound scanner, in sonography, number one, the dose is lower, so the amount of energy being pumped in is way lower. Number two, it's very, very pulsed. You send in a tiny little pulse of energy, then you wait for the reflection before you send in another one. So the, the amount of energy going in is smaller, and you deliberately scatter the beam into the tissue to get lots of reflection. I don't want scattering. I want it to go in and stay in. So the energy ultrasound is the same. How it's delivered and the level at which it's delivered is different. My, my level is therapeutic, relatively higher level of, of energy to achieve physiological change. Your sonographer or your person using an ultrasound scanner is going in low level, very pulsed, big gaps, scattering it in, and there's no direct evidence that says an ultrasound scan has a detrimental effect on the, on the developing fetus. It certainly reaches the fetus, of course it does, that's how you get the picture. But there's not enough of it to have a detrimental effect. There are people out there who are saying it could, and there are people out there looking to see if there's any link between having lots of scans and uh, ab abnormalities of development, abnormalities of birth or you know, occurrence of Asperger's or whatever. People are looking at those kind of things just in case we've missed it. But mm. at the moment, there's nothing that links ultrasound scanning with detrimental effect on the fetus.